As the SARS-CoV-2 virus tore across the globe in early 2020, the pace of biomedical research accelerated dramatically to keep up. Fast collaborative research in virology, immunology, and epidemiology had never been more crucial. As the pandemic spread, researchers working at lightning speed wanted to get their work into the hands of peers and public health authorities as fast as possible. So they increasingly turned to preprint servers to share their findings. Dr. Martin Chalfie, Nobel Prize winning scientist and Columbia University professor, and Dr. Akiko Iwasaki, professor of immunobiology at the Yale School of Medicine, have both consistently used preprint servers to disseminate their research at top speed. The benefit the preprint servers have offered is enormous during the pandemic. We could not have disseminated all of our findings in a timely manner if we had to rely on the traditional publication scheme. It could take one or two years before the general public has access to the information. Prior to the pandemic, many scientists were hesitant about relying on research papers that haven't been peer-reviewed or published. But now, many in the biomedical community are opting to share their work as soon as possible by posting it on pre-print servers like BioArchive and MedArchive. The pandemic requires very quick action on the part of the decision makers who are dealing with people's lives. And so whether it be the transmission rate, how the virus transmits, is it airborne, the information has to be disseminated immediately. With the availability of research that is yet to be peer reviewed, comes new responsibilities. We should not take all the preprint server studies um, as facts because they haven't been evaluated by the experts yet. Everyone should be cautious about any article that they read, and especially scientific articles. One has to evaluate things and not take them on face value. People are always concerned about false information being put in the guise that make it look like it is appropriate or approved. Yes, this is something that is always a danger, but it's a danger whether it's somebody getting up and giving a talk that other people believe in, or if it's something on a preprint server, or if it's a published paper. It will eventually come out. There could be millions of people looking at a paper, and so more eyes the better, and that's also maybe a good purpose for posting something and evaluating it at the preprint stage. So the preprint has been used by mathematicians and physicists for much, much longer than biologists and biomedical scientists. ASAP Bio is a nonprofit that works to open up the process of science and communicate its results efficiently. It promotes preprints and transparent peer review by working with institutions, preprint servers like BioArchive and MedArchive, and the research community. My standard policy in the lab is that every time we have a paper that we want to submit for publication, it is simultaneously put onto BioArchive so the entire world can see it. The preprint has not been used, in my opinion, as a replacement necessarily for peer-reviewed um, publication, but it serves a, an upstream and a different purpose. The preprint servers can set up collaborations you write a manuscript for submission to a journal, and then someone may read that on the preprint service. You know, I have something that relates to this. Maybe we should get together and do this. And so the study becomes better. Input from the experts in the field about a particular angle of the study. Have you considered this possibility? There's another study that's similar. Have you looked at this? So it's actually serving the process of review, but in a more public manner. Preprints allow the entire world to have access to the information. I can't predict who is going to use it. I just know that I don't want to restrict the access to only a few people. Patients have become very well versed in understanding science over the pandemic. So many patients have reached out to us through reading something on the preprint server, and we have an entire program based on, you know, patients' input. You don't need to pay anything to submit or to read. 
So financially, it means you do not have to be connected to someone that has a subscription to be able to look at the latest information. The Chan Zuckerberg Initiative supports the global movement in biomedical science to foster openness and sharing, including funding MedArchive, BioArchive, and ASAP Bio. As more and more scientists choose to share their work in preprints, science will move faster and become available to all. To learn more about preprints for biomedicine and how CZI supports initiatives to accelerate open sharing of research outputs, please visit czi.co slash open science.